Hey, hello, Tony here from Lightwave Digital. I'm just going to quickly show you how you can render this basic animation art. So I've got a two second animation here. I preview rendered it. I've done a few test renders, so I'm not I'm ready for rendering. So we'll go to the render tab at the top, render properties. You choose the start and end frame. So I'm going to change this to 60 because it has I only want the 60 frames. And then you've got the other settings that you can go through, they're all to do with improving the quality of your render. Uh, but what I want to do is I just want to decide on what render passes or the buffers I want to take as a as an animation so currently it's got my beauty pass and an alpha and now you could have lots of other different passes here so from your normals to your depth of field everything as you want as you, as you want to take through but i'm just going to leave it uh currently uh the these two here so when i go to output as you can see on the output so i've cho i've chose which buffers i want and really i only i only really want the, the beauty pass so in here it says beauty pass is here and it tells you down here where you're going to render it to and what you're going to render it out uh, so you unclick the use the basic output and what we're going to do is we're going to choose a folder on the desktop and let's say uh, i'm just going to call this animation test one so there's a folder i'm using and then what how you want to call it so i'm just going to call it zero one and uh in there okay and then what do you want to render out so file format i'm just going to choose a jpeg and, and i'm going to leave it as simple as that so it's all set up i've got the folder i've got the file name i've got what i want to call it as and you can change the color space as well but i'm going to use the default setup what's on this computer already which is srgb and then when you when you're ready you just simply click the render scene and then it will come up here saying auto frame auto is on okay yes and then what it's going to do it's going to start rendering through your actual uh 60 frames and put them into your folder then what you just need to do is take them through to after effects premiere or davinci whatever it is you're using uh to edit your software together and then just literally edit it all together and import it in as an image sequence and then it's as simple as as simple as that and then you just can repeat this with whatever animations you want and so on and so forth and let's say for instance you've got 20 20 frames of your animation you don't like so you've changed it you just could re-render those 20 frames and replace it and it's as simple as that thanks for listening